In this episode, you will learn how to practice radical acceptance, explore the benefits of your destructive behaviors, learn how to set them free and implement new ones that will serve you well. Aloha everyone and welcome to your podcast for Joyful Serenity. My name is Pia and I am grateful to be a part of your journey in becoming. This episode will start with a little story that I experienced yesterday when I went on a little surprising trip out of the city of Berlin where I live with my boyfriend and partner. And we just decided very spontaneously to drive out of the city with public transport and have a walk to one of the oldest trees around Berlin. Her name is, in German, it's called Dicke Marie. So it's called Fat Marie. And she's over 800 years old. And she's right beside the lake in the northern part of Berlin. It's called Teglasee. And we just had a nice little walk through the woods and saw this beautiful tree. And then we came back. And actually, it took us around one hour to get there um, by train. And we thought about maybe taking a boat back to the city. Would be two hours. And we thought that would be a super nice idea because the weather was just so beautiful. And usually the season for the boat trips ends at the end of September. So we thought, all right, let's just take the chance and jump on a boat back to the city, which we did. And we got on that boat and we climbed the stairs on top of it and we're searching for a place to sit. There were many families, but also elderly people. And there was one table and my boyfriend just said, hey, let's, let's go ask that woman if we can sit on her table. She was alone. And we asked her and she was really kind and really nice. And we just took our chairs and sat on the table with her. And what started with a question ended up in us three talking about the world and everything from A to Z for two hours straight. So we got to enjoy the view and the weather, but we absolutely enjoyed talking to this amazing woman. Her name is Hannelore and Hannelore is nearly 90 years old. She has been sailing most of her life with her husband who, is, who now died. And she told us a lot about her history, about being a child when there was the second world war, about her husband and Especially when it comes to that, she told us a funny story about them having marriage crisis, but actually they didn't. Only she had a marriage crisis because when she talked about it with him being present, he said, what, you had a marriage crisis? I never had one. <laughs> We had a big laugh about this. And what Hannelore told us yesterday, when we got to know her really quick, she said, actually, she loved her husband so much and it were, was a beautiful life they shared. And there was one moment when she realized, because they were really, they were different. Um, they had although they had a lot of things in common, they also were different characters. And she said, I thought we had a crisis and I felt like I was in a crisis, but he never felt like this. And it was hard for me to accept him just the way he was with, with all his behaviors. And the moment I accepted, truly accepted him with all he was without trying to change him, this made such a difference and made it the most happy times in our relationship after I accepted the fact 
that he is who he is and that I would love him with all there is. And this beautiful trip and conversation with this incredible woman about her life and her relationship brings me now to talk about radical acceptance with you right here on this podcast. What is radical acceptance? It is the radical acceptance of what is. Of a situation of yourself and of others. I deeply believe that practicing radical acceptance will bring me more peace and the ability to love life with all there is unconditionally. To really practice radical acceptance, we have to first agree to disagree. The question I'm asking you now is, Will there always be some ideas, thoughts, opinions in this world that you disagree with? And next, do you think that there will always be someone who disagrees with yours too? If we can agree to disagree right here, this is the basic foundation of radical acceptance. It is what it is. There's no judgment and no direction. Nor It's not bad, it's not good, it just is. It's a fact. It's just there, whatever it is. If we can agree on this, we can move forward to behaviors. In the beginning, I talked about Exploring the benefits of your destructive behaviors. I want to invite you to have a closer look at your own behaviors. Are there certain times or situations in your everyday life that you do not really feel good about or not feel comfortable about, that you don't like about yourself. Take a moment to just think about this for some time. Are there situations where you have or where you show behaviors that you don't really like about yourself or maybe also others? For example, judging yourself for things you did or you didn't do or for being a perfectionist or for, for accusations for blaming yourself or for criticizing yourself for not being good enough. If you found some situations that you're like, oh yeah, I know, <laughs> there are several, maybe, maybe it's hard for you to find something that you don't really like about yourself or like behaviors that you are showing that you don't really like about yourself or that you did not like. Maybe it's not right now in the present moment, but maybe you can remember a situation where you acted a certain way and afterwards you were just like, why am I doing this? If you like, I want to invite you to a little experiment If you say, oh yeah, I'm ready for a little experiment, I will invite you now to close your eyes. Just to close your eyes and be present. And just be aware of your emotional state right now. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling right now? sitting here, listening to this podcast. What's the first emotion or feeling that comes into your mind? And also, what is the second 
feeling? What is underneath this feeling? Is there something else? Just let it pop up. Maybe something in your subconscious just drops out. There's no need to judge. Just be aware of whatever is showing itself and revealing itself to you. And now that you are aware of your feelings today and now, I want you to pick one of the behaviors that you just thought about that you don't really like about yourself. And please pick one of them, one of these behaviors that, that showed themselves to you. Pick one of them, the one that feels the strongest right now, the one that you feel the strongest right now, the one thing that you don't like about yourself behaving the way in a certain way what is it and can you put this into a word or a short phrase short sentence and if you have this word this behavior that you do not like about yourself that hurts you and maybe others too, that doesn't feel good, that creates pain or suffering, anger, anxiety. And when you have this feeling or behavior, I'm inviting you to, with closed eyes, travel in time, maybe into a recent situation where you did that or where you felt that, or maybe even time is taking you farther away. Relax yourself. Take some breaths and just allow these situations to come by. And if you have one situation where you have experienced this behavior for your, from yourself and the feelings that came with it, please paint this picture. Let it come back into your mind. Where are you? Who is with you? What have you said or done? Can you create this scene again? And when you have this situation and you can clearly see or hear or feel or maybe all of it, I'm inviting you to take a step back and zoom out of this situation like a bird's eye view. So you can take a look from above, distance yourself a little bit. And then I want you to focus on this certain behavior, this destructive behavior that you have been showing in this situation. And when you can clearly see it, give it maybe a name or a word. Maybe it's perfectionism or beating yourself up for something, blaming someone Whatever it is, allow yourself right now
to let something come to you and this will be the benefit, the secret benefit of you behaving like this. It might feel weird and maybe it takes a moment to show itself. Maybe it comes right away, but just take a moment and allow yourself to see the secret benefit that you are receiving from behaving like this. What could be the secret benefit? What are you getting out of this behaving like this? Maybe even if it was not conscious, probably you have not thought about getting something out of behaving like this, but there is always a secret benefit. And we, when you can find this, what do I get out of this behavior? Maybe it's safety or the feeling of being strong or being independent or showing boundaries whatever it is. And if there's nothing coming, that's fine too. Maybe it just needs some time to reveal itself. But if there is something that you found, I'm inviting you to take one or two hands and close them tight like a fist. So you have one or two fists that are closed tight. And into these hands now, into these fists, you can put this destructive behavior that you want to set free. And if you want to, you can talk to this behavior, to this destructive behavior. You have to name it. I will just talk and you can repeat after me, filling in the blank space of the behavior. Dear, whatever destructive behavior you have chosen, Thank you for everything I've learned through you. I am ready now to move on. I will Always remember what I've learned through you. And even if I don't know how, I will set you free. And even if I don't know how, I am ready to let go you served me well and I am ready now to move on. On the count of three, you can now release this destructive behavior and with that open your fists. One, 
Maybe close it a little tighter. Two. Take a deep breath and make the decision on three to let this go. Three. And just take a moment to feel whatever is moving inside of you, through you right now. And acknowledge everything that is radical acceptance. With your eyes still closed, I want to invite you one more time to let some things come to you. What is it that you wish to have or to behave instead of the one thing you just let go? Maybe it is I want to feel good without the need of perfectionism. I want to accept myself just the way I am. Maybe it is I want to accept others just the way they are. I want to be strong. I want to be supportive. Free of judgments towards myself and others. Whatever it is, allow this new behavior even if you don't know how to enter. Yourself, your being. And let it fill you up. There can be several things coming for you. It doesn't have to be only one thing. So make it a lot, whatever you want, as you wish. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Allow yourself to take some more deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. And now with the next exhale, just slowly open your eyes again. Come back to the present moment, space and time. And now just be curious about what you have moved inside of yourself and what this might have for different, what you, <laughs> what different experience you might make in the next days or weeks. And just remember that radical acceptance doesn't mean you are sticking with something just because you think it is the way it is. Radical acceptance means I accept this the way it is and I can choose from that point on what I want to do, what I want to feel, how I want to behave. Radical acceptance and practicing, because practice makes possible, it will make a huge difference in your whole life. Be it in relationships with others, especially with yourself and the world. 
Thank you for listening to this episode and also for reviewing and rating it on Apple Podcasts. Please feel free to share this episode with a friend that you feel like could need this right now. Stay happy and healthy. Aloha. Yours, Pia. Pia.